Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel and I recently did a full suspension refresh on this E39 and as part of that job I had to remove the entire uh, rear deck here in order for me to access the top of the rear struts. Now while I was editing the full video of the coilover install which you can see on the channel I realized that this was a big part of the whole process and I had enough content to make a video uh, of this in itself so here we are and there may be other reasons why you would need to remove this maybe you are trying to replace the rear speakers or you know working with seat belts there's a lot of wiring here as well I don't know there could be a number of reasons why you need to remove this whole um, rear shelf so I figured this video uh, would be helpful in my case of course I'm just doing uh, suspension work uh, but this is pretty much the end state this is what it looks like once you have everything removed so I will take you through the entire process step by step in this video and show you how to take everything apart without breaking anything. Uh, do note that I have foldable seats on this car so if your car doesn't the process may be a little bit different. Alright let's get to it. So pretty much everything in here has to come off uh, of the rear. You know the headrests, um, trim of the pillars here, the entire rear deck, speakers. Pretty much whatever we find on the way to uh, the top of the rear struts. Uh, so let's get started on that. And these are all just meant to separate. As you may have seen, uh, one of them came off the, the headrest without the post, but uh, they're all independent pieces. You just pull them off. Uh, you can actually pull this out of uh, this if you wanted to. I'll go ahead and take these trims off. I'm not sure if I have to, but uh, if you can see this one's actually broken some of the clips are not even there so i may order some of these parts um, new uh, for when i put everything back together all right so now we're going to remove the uh child restraints from the back there's three of them you can just take a flathead screwdriver and remove the little cap it's a plastic cap so you can access the bolt And these each have a bolt, a washer, and this little um, spacer or bushing right here. So just keep everything together. Uh, you can also take out the uh, plastic trim around it. And I thought I'd put something here to uh, protect the seats, you know, as I'm climbing in and out and throwing tools, etc. Also worth mentioning, I do have the uh, foldable seats, um, which apparently make this job a lot easier because I don't have to remove, I guess, additional parts. So just keep in mind uh, that if you don't have this option, uh, the process may be a little different. So now we got to remove the um, vent covers all the way back here. If you can see those and there should be four clips uh, on the front edge that you need to snap off and they just come right off. Um, just be careful. And there are two vents or vent covers on each side and I'll show you this one I've removed already. And here's what I use. I use one of these you know plastic uh, tools for um, prying and I started from one side making my way and now as I was prying it up I used this small flathead screwdriver to push on the clips uh, and they came right off. These are the front clips uh, that I'm talking about here. Now let's get inside the trunk and you're gonna see three bolts. Um, there's one here in between the speakers or the subs, another one here and another one here and those hold the um, I guess the roller blind if you have that option on your car. And now we're going to be removing the lights from the pillars here and this should be really easy to remove. All you got to do is pry from the top. So pick a tool like something plastic that works uh, well for that and they hook into the bottom here. So once you take the top off, let's see if I can, there you go. they just basically fall right off. And that's it. Um, there's a little wire here that you have to disconnect of course and with the lights off uh, that'll expose two eight millimeter screws on each end that we have to remove so we're going to be removing the back seat now or the bench part of it for now and that should be really easy we're just going to pull up uh, on both sides. These are clips that snap on uh, in place. 
one. Now, before you fold the uh, back of the seats back down, um, you're gonna want to uh, lay something on this area here to protect the seats. You're gonna be basically sitting on top of them at some point, and you don't want the seats to be damaged with, obviously, these clips right here, um, or anything else that may be sticking out. So um, try and find something that works for you, and then you can fold the seats. I actually have this 2x8, which is probably a bit of an overkill, um, but I want to make sure everything's protected. And on top of this, I'm going to lay uh, the um, moving blanket I had there before. Next up, we're going to be removing the side bolsters and there's going to be a 10 millimeter screw right at the bottom here towards the door. You can uh, get a feel for it by hand. Now I got the side bolster removed here and let me show you uh, how this is mounted uh, before I take the other one off. I had to figure this out. Uh, so there are two clips that hold it together once you remove that bolt. And the first one is going to be on the top here and it's the same concept uh, of the bench seat. So I just basically Look at here on the top by the seat belt. You see the metal clip here, and it just snaps onto that. And then at the bottom is this piece here that basically um, slides into this bracket here. So the process is basically to grab the top here. The clip's about you know five or six inches down. Um, once you get a hold of it, you're just gonna pull away. And once it snaps off, slide it up and out. So now we're gonna remove the rest of the uh, pillar trim. And again, I have removed one already so that I could figure it out off camera and then show you so that you can do it safely without breaking anything. And basically the trim is held uh, by these two plastic clips uh, at the top and these tabs here that go down um, the side let me show you so the two top clips are going to be here and here and the tabs are down the side towards the uh towards the glass you can actually see one of the clips uh once you get in there um right on this corner here so you know where to pull um, the other one's going to be right around here um, so it comes right off just be careful when you're pulling that you don't pull uh too far out try and control your strength um there you go. And then once you have it off, kind of wiggle it out. And it comes right off. All right, so we are getting close here. And now we're going to be removing this trim piece uh, that goes over the top of the, uh, I guess, the trunk opening here. And we're going to be removing these plastic um, push pins uh, so that we can remove it. So with all six pins removed, you can take this trim piece out and just be careful. There are tabs right underneath all along here um, that you have to carefully pull so that you don't break it. All right, so we should be ready to pull this uh, rear deck out finally. And we're gonna use the holes here with the, uh, where the child restraints are to help us pull it out. And we're gonna sit here on the top of the back seats, grab it, and I'm gonna pull up and towards me. I'm gonna try something and pull these seat belts forward a little bit. There we go. Be careful here, make sure that there's no wires attached, anything like that. And we can just 
just leave this resting here on top of the top of the seats until we're ready to put it back and if we look all the way at the back here you see those slots there that's where the uh, um, vent covers uh, attached to and that's pretty much what's holding the deck um, to the rear so a good reason why you want to remove those air vents um, before you attempt to pull the deck out um, so that you don't you know break them and we're a lot closer now to reaching those uh, bolts or nuts at the top of the rear struts the only thing left to remove I believe are these uh, speakers so let's get to those and there's gonna be two screws on the front here very easy to see you have one right there the other one right here oh, careful not to drop the screws like I just did um, anyways there is a wire on the front side as well that you have to unplug and the speaker just comes up and out just like that so once you have the speakers removed you should be able to lift this um, this soft fabric here or material and voila we now have access to the top of the struts take this rubber cap off and you could see it right there and let me tell you it is really hard to believe that BMW designed this in such a way that you have to go through all this just to get to the top of the struts um, you know I had read about it I knew what I was getting into but you know even as you're going through it um, it's just it's mind-blowing